Good day, America. This is J.W. Scroggy, and I run for president. We're here in the First Lady, and we're about to clock in at Finn McCool's, but first, we started doing a little research and just history and whatnot, and right here, history is a weapon. A People's History of the United States by Howard Zinn. History is a weapon. The best way to explain this to you is kind of like, I guess, Santa Claus. Uh, everybody knows that everybody here, mostly in the United States, uh, lies to their kids and says that Santa Claus is this mysterious guy on the North Pole who brings them presents if they're good all year. That's pretty much the story. And uh, it's a big lie. Everybody around you kind of lies, like, yeah, that's not really true, you know? And uh, you can fool kids for like 13 years until their friends find out that they, they see their mom putting the presents down and they find out and they start telling their other friends, hey, there's no real Santa Claus, you know that, right? It might take 13 years to break out of this. Well, I feel like our school system has embedded the same Santa Claus, but people don't wake up out of it, you know? It takes 35 years to wake up out of it, and then when you do, you're a loon or you're crazy to say, hey, that's kind of fucked up. But like, they make you put hats on and high and middle school where I was at least and if you run around and you can be an Indian or a settler and you all have a big dinner together and you love each other and it's like this this great Columbus day and this great you know Thanksgiving well when you teach a lie like that then people will grow up and that's how they become entitled and that's how they become because they believe that they're that that's how it happened let me read an expert from the people's history of when Columbus first came over in his, in his mindset. This is his journal of Columbus. They did not bear arms. They did not know of them. For I showed them a sword. They took it by the edge and cut themselves out of ignorance. They have no iron. Their spears are made of cane. They would make fine servants. With 50 men, we could subject them all to make them do whatever we want. It's time that we realize where we are right now in this world, America. The only way we can change is to really know the past. Scroggy 16 wants to rewrite the history a little bit and give our native brothers their place so they'll never be forgotten or never made to look like it was one big happy party. Scroggy 16 has native brothers that I read this and I can see with 50 men we could subject them to make them do whatever we want. I can see how the mindset was against them and how they could be rounded up like they were and it hurts. It's time we teach the kids real history, it's time we come with grips with where we're at and it's time we put a real person in the White House. I need you to write in your next president in America, write in J.W. Scroggy, and if not, write in whoever you're voting for, write in Bernie Sanders, write in Bernie Sanders. Don't check a box. Checking a box gets you nowhere. Scruggy 16.